For my capstone creative piece, I chose to create a four-piece series of encaustic art. This art was created on wood using beeswax and resin as the medium. I attended a workshop hosted by a local artist, Linda Weeb, to learn some of the techniques to create this type of artwork. It was a full day workshop and my oldest daughter and I were the only two people in attendance that day. It was a lovely day of quietly creating and chatting and trying something new together. My first tile begins with recognition of my journey by including the logos for my employer, the Salvation Army, who permitted me to take the time away from work while holding my position for me. My practicum at Family Services Perth Huron, where I was provided with great opportunities for learning, which I will come back to later in this presentation. The Ontario government for the OSAP funding to make this possible, and the logos for Waterloo University and Renison. The black, gold, white represent the colors of Renison University College. I included on this tile as well, in the top right hand corner, a piece that is reflective of Zen doodling or Zen tangles, which represents the mindfulness portion of the DBT training I was provided with during my practicum. During my practicum, I had the opportunity to teach Zen doodling to the members of the women's PAR group I co-facilitated, and it was very well received. I also have the Tim Hortons coffee sticker in there. Being a piece of art, I included some components which speak to my own personal journey and don't necessarily reflect specific learning or a competency. On this tile, you will also see some playing with different encaustic art techniques and markings. The arrow and button path on my second tile represent my path through the MSW program. The group of people represent to me group work, both the experience of group work that was requirement of each course we took, as well as the experience of co-facilitating groups in my practicum. The experience of facilitating group work was entirely new to me, and I loved it. I was so impressed with the way the individuals engaged in the group process and the process of learning. In terms of the group work and the courses I took, I cherish the relationships that I have made and that will continue after the program ends. The group of people in this piece also represent team building. So this tile also represents the leadership and supervision course. For this course, I completed a paper on team building using an interview with my field supervisor. This was such a good way to learn how she handled challenges, such as becoming a leader on a team she was already a member of, as well as then having to supervise her previous supervisor. She shared so generously her experiences planning team building activities, and I will remember with fondness and appreciation her modeling of safe sharing. The social work supervision and leadership course and the evaluation course as well were full of great information that I am certain I will draw on in the future as I move into a management position when I return to work in September. This tile represents collaboration and inclusion, represented by the large silver circle. It is a reminder of the importance of learning from our clients the way in which they want their voices to be included. Another piece of learning for me in this program was that so many social workers work in isolation or are the lone social worker in their place of employment. I have decided I would like to act on this learning in a more meaningful way and have started to reach out to social workers in my geographical area to create a network so that we can support each other, but also share resources, education, and perhaps create opportunities for men mentorship and group advocacy. I am excited about this and see the silver circle as representing this network as well. The third tile is all about the love. So many times throughout this course, I have been reminded of the need for connection that we all have, including the people we serve. Some of the course readings and some of the professors spoke openly about their love for the people they serve. And this came through as well in the discussion posts written by my fellow MSW students. I appreciate this honesty so much and found it to be a great source of comfort. In the ethics course and the social work practice and health course, as well as the diversity course, we explored the topic of relationships with our clients, power in those relationships, 
boundaries, and social isolation, inside and out. I felt this tile was a good place to include the letter of each of my children's first names. I don't think I could have completed this program without their support and patience. I included a leaf from a plant that belonged to a past client from whom I learned a great deal about the social work values of respect and meeting people where they are and self-determination. The rainbow on the bottom left might be a little bit difficult to see, but it is representative of Family Services Perth Huron. They display a beautiful photo that was taken that captured the image of a rainbow over their office. The rainbow reminds me of my practicum and also the way that my field supervisor engaged in knowledge mobilization. She often sends emails to the clinical staff about various practices and theories, and she encourages the sharing of notes from trainings that staff attend as well as helpful resources and knowledge. One of the less formal emails she sent was educating staff about double rainbows. So rainbows have come to remind me of my practicum. The final tile represents many things for me. The backdrop is a cloud, symbolizing the word clouds we used in a couple of the courses. But more than that, it symbolizes new learning for me. My first trip to university still requ required a typewriter and a library card. And although I use technology in my employment, there was a lot of learning for me in terms of the technological aspects of the program. Learning how to do a word cloud was fun, but other components such as APA style, the learn platform, pebble pad, and the blogging we did in the knowledge mobilization course are other examples that really challenged me to push myself. In the top left hand corner of this tile, I also included a representation of a mind map. The mind maps were everywhere in this program. Initially, I did not enjoy making the mind maps or concept maps, but by the fourth one, I was able to see their usefulness. Along a similar line is the use of genograms or an individual's timeline, which was learning from my practicum. The clock, symbolizing that the time was right in my life for me to pursue this degree, as well as the time I set aside for myself to complete this goal. The setting of goals and planning to complete them are part of our learning contract as students, but also is a task we ask of our clients, and I experienced this in the individual counseling component as well as the group work component of my field practicum. The dove is from a card I received from the counselor I first co-facilitated a group with, and it gave me a great deal of encouragement when I was beginning and feeling so overwhelmed. The metal word believe was a gift from one of my volunteers in my place of employment as I began my journey. The I in the bottom right represents the theme of vision, which we learn the importance of in both the evaluation and the leadership courses. The word future has two paths leading away from it, both decorated with flowers, which I love, symbolizing my own future professional direction. I believe I have two wonderful paths in front of me and I will need to decide to continue on the current path into a management position which will not include frontline work or to refocus and create a plan to continue learning and working in clinical counseling. The coursework has made me excited for one path and the practicum experience for the other. So this portion of this tile represents my future decision making. Finally, the yellow markings on this tile simply represent voice. I wanted to include something to represent the voices of the people we serve. For myself, this program helped to increase my confidence and to develop my own voice as a professional social worker. I look forward to displaying these pieces to remind me of everything I have learned throughout this program. Thank you for listening and allowing me to share my creative representation of my journey with you today.